The Miami Dolphins want Xavier Howard on the roster but Xavier Howard would rather have a truckload of money dropped off at his bank. It's an impasse that both sides need to work around. Considering the fact that Xavier Howard isn't talking to the media, we really don't know what exactly he wants in the way of a new contract. We can assume that he has spoken with the Dolphins' front office but they don't talk to the media about internal issues. Brian Flores called the situation unique because Howard is only two years into a six-year deal. In 2020 Howard had the best year of his career so naturally, he wants to maximize that into a new deal that would likely make him the top-paid corner in the NFL. From Howard's side, it makes sense. Last year couldn't have come at the worst time for him. He needed that to happen in 2021 or 2022 where he would have more options to negotiate but instead, it happened two years into his deal. Howard knows he has knee issues and those issues could end his season as easily as they did in 2019 so of course he wants to maximize last year's production. On the other hand, the Dolphins can't summarily say, here you go big guy. And give him a new contract. It sets the worst precedent for the team in future contract negotiations. As Flores said, it's a unique situation. There are two lines of thinking here. 1. Howard wants to be the highest paid player on the team and at his position. 2. Howard wants more money. If Howard wants the first one, he will not find that with a new contract this year. Miami doesn't have the cap space and a restructure could have limitations and the phony money that would likely be included puts us back in this situation two years from now. The second situation is far more achievable. If what he wants is money, then Dolphins can give it to him. His current contract will pay him $13.50, $14.30, $13.40, and $12.50, million in the next four years but the problem for Howard is that most of his guarantees have already been paid. In the next four years, Miami can save a lot of money by releasing him. If Howard has a bad season or gets injured, his stock on the open market will take a big hit. Another reason he realizes that a new deal is needed. So the Dolphins should guarantee large portions of his contract. All Miami needs to do is guarantee his 2022 salary which as of right now, carries only a $2.8 million guarantee. Miami could give him the remaining $11.5 million guaranteed and even a portion of his salary in 2023 when only $1.4 million will be dead money and Miami could save $12 million. Howard should still be a top corner in three years and by guaranteeing portions of his salary, the Dolphins are committing to Howard and Howard is getting the financial security that he is looking for. I'm sure that the Dolphins are looking at this as a possibility but will it happen? Maybe, depends on what Howard wants from the Dolphins.